Every year, the value of attendance before the UN, especially the Committee of Decolonization, is questioned. The United Kingdom does not recognize the committee, believing it no longer has a role to play in respect of its territories, which it feels should have been delisted years ago. It is, ironically, for this reason that it could be why it's so important for the Gibraltar government to be here and make a case for itself. The United Kingdom argues the Committee of 24 is defunct, as the British territories on its list enjoy self-government and have chosen to retain their links with the UK. It therefore does not recognise the committee and does not appear before it. The Chief Minister is of the view that Gibraltar has to fight its own corner and be present to avert the dangers of political interests allowed to grow and run riot. And Fabian Picardo must have felt vindicated in this last session because of the chairman's comments on visiting missions, rebuttals to which he threaded throughout his address. The committee. Mr. Picardo, you have the floor. Mr. Chairman, let me start by saying that I will be writing to you about the things you have said this morning about visiting missions to Gibraltar, which in our view defy logic and are unacceptable to the government and people of Gibraltar and which the General Assembly itself has previously rejected. And if a South American chairman is not enough, Spain repeated its well-known arguments that Gibraltar violates the principle of territorial integrity and consists of non-indigenous peoples on illegally seized land. The real Gibraltarians, said the Spanish representative, live in San Roque, having left the rock before 1704. The waters around Gibraltar like the isthmus, she said, are Spanish. Not a new sentiment, but one starkly and undiplomatically expressed. Fabian Picardo also relied on historical facts in his address, claiming Gibraltar had suffered at the hands of Spain after over 99% voted to be British in 1967. Mr. Picardo highlighted that the ROC had voted again in 2002 to choose our current constitution as a method of decolonization in keeping with the UN's fourth option. Failure to acknowledge these efforts, he said, was failure of the very reason of the committee's existence, a failure of the committee's sacred mission to protect the people of the non-self-governing territories. Mr. Picardo told the C24 that its failure would not be Gibraltar's and that we would never give up. On shared sovereignty with Spain, he said, Gibraltar again voted overwhelmingly to remain British in 2002. Brexit or no Brexit, he added, the results today would be the same. But he again extended an invitation to Spain for dialogue and for a return to the trilateral forum. I therefore strongly urge the Kingdom of Spain to be brave and to engage with us in a mutually acceptable dialogue designed to resolve the many mutually concerning issues that will arise as a result of the UK's decision to leave the European Union. Talking would be a more modern and progressive approach to cooperation than pursuing a policy of vetoes which will achieve nothing. And we remain ready to engage. Because Brexit or no Brexit, Gibraltar will remain a highly successful international business hub and none of that is going to change. For its part, Spain said it was looking at a forum for cooperation but repeated it had to include the Campo as a fourth party. She told the committee that proof of her openness to dialogue was the offer of joint sovereignty, stating this would not be an alternative to her claim and to a definitive solution. But she said it wasn't just about a historical claim, but about decolonization, and urged the United Kingdom to achieve Gibraltar's decolonization with the resumption of bilateral talks on sovereignty, as it had been urged to do by the UN. It expressed its satisfaction that the committee would never delist the rock. The Chief Minister today told the committee that Gibraltar wanted to be decolonized and not recolonized. Gibraltarians, he said, were not going to be worn out by its failure to act, nor give up to make its job easier. Christine Vasquez, GBC News, from New York.